Okay, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bahashim Yahawashai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word of sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War from the GMS New Jersey camp. And this one is a quick hit, straight to the point. And this is the verse of the day. It says Proverbs chapter 18 and 10. It says, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and is safe. All right, so it says the name of the Lord is a strong tower. Now that's, you know, what's, what's the name of the Lord? All right, matter of fact, let me get a quick precept. This is Proverbs 30 and 4. It says, who have ascended up into heaven or descended? Who have gathered the wind in his fists? Who have bound the waters in his garment? Who have established all the ends of the earth? What is his name? And what is his son's name? If thou canst tell. All right. So what is the son's name? And what is the heavenly father's name? Now, today, you know, you have the father and the son name, which people call ignorantly, you know, by these other false names. Or let's say titles. Okay. Like God and Jesus Christ. Which is uh, God just means power in the Hebrew as Allah. Now, Jesus, that is uh, made up, okay, going back to Serapis Christus, all right? Or, you know, um, you had uh, Alexander Borgia, his son, Sajere Borgia, which who posed to be the Messiah today. And that's where you get that image of Jesus Christ, all right? The word Christ just goes back to Christos, which means anointed. All right, you got other names where people call and call them Jesus, you know, uh, and so on. Jehovah. Now, the scriptures say, let me read again. Proverbs 30 and 4. Who have ascended up into heaven or descended? Who have gathered the wind in his fists? Who have bound the waters in his garment? Who have established all the ends of the earth? What is his name? And what is his son's name if thou can tell all right now the son's name is Yahweh Shai and the father name is Yahweh now when Yahweh Shai who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ when he walked this earth he was a Hebrew Israelite okay let me say that again he was a Hebrew Israelite from the tribe of Judah so if he was a if his customs and his ways were of a Hebrew it would mean that he spoke Hebrew, okay? And him speaking Hebrew, his name must be in Hebrew, okay? Even when he uh, knocked Paul off the horse and blinded Paul, you know, he spoke to Paul in what language? In the Hebrew, okay? And then in the Hebrew, the name of the Lord is Yahawashai. The, the Yah at the beginning of the sentence means he, and Hawashai is savior, or you could say deliverer. He, deliverer, or he, savior. Yahweh is he is or he to be, okay? Because when Moses uh, spoke with the Most High, he asked the Most High his name uh, so that he may go tell the children of Israel who sent them, okay? So his name is Yahweh, he is or he to be, all right? So let's get back to Proverbs 18 and 10. It says, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. All right, so the true name of the Lord is a strong tower, and why? Because our power, okay, the name of the Lord is a power, is, is, is above all powers on the earth. Matter of fact, it's a power that governs this universe, that created everything that exists, okay? It's the power, it's the name, which is, a, which is the Lord's, uh, which is a power, okay? The ultimate power that rules over all powers, okay, even demons, so it says the name of the Lord is a strong tower. All right. So I want to bring a quick precept here. And uh, Ecclesiastica is also known as Sirach. This is in the Apocrypha. Okay. This is chapter 18, verse 1. He that live forever have created all things in general. The Lord only is righteous and there is none other but he who governs the world with the palm of his hand and all things obey his will. He is the king of all by his power, dividing holy things among them 
from profane. Okay? So, our Father, okay, which are in heaven, which his name is Yahweh, and his sons, Yahweh Shai, who we worship, okay, which is our Savior, who come to deliver and redeem the elect of Israel through the four corners of this earth, okay, he, he is a, well, let's say they are a governor, okay, that rules all power, rules over all power in this world. It says, who governs the world in the palm of his hand, all right, and that's be the Most High, Yahweh, and all things obey his will. So, where any type of spiritual force, power, uh, let's say, you know, celestial form, all right, even of the carnal, even of the flesh, the terrain, it is all obeyed by the word and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And it doeth as his will, at, you know, as his will. It says, he is the king of all by his power, dividing holy things among the profane. And the most high have divided, okay, the holy from the profane. Who is the holy? The Israelites. And in this day, it's starting with the elect. Okay, that word holy means to be separate. All right. Who is profane? Anything that's outside the temple, anything that's outside of this of this truth. Paul said in um, Romans 14 in the last verse, he said, if it's not of faith, then it's sin. All right. So if it's not of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, okay, and of faith uh, uh, of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, then it's sin. All right. It says, to whom have he given power to clear his works? And who shall find out his noble acts? All right. So let's go back to the verse of the day. Proverbs 18 and 10. It says, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. All right. That's why when, you know, for brothers who are uh, newly coming in, you know, the newly fruit learning, growing in the truth, call on that name, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right. Have faith in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You know, us brothers that been, you know, striving in this truth have a lot of testimonies to prove to prove that that name, all right, is a name to worship. And, in the, and, and also that's the name, you know, of the true and living power. Okay. It says the righteous runneth into it and is safe. And who are the righteous? Matter of fact, in um, I believe first Peter's or second Peter's, the third chapter, all right. It says that the Lord hear the prayers of the righteous. So who will be the righteous? The righteous would be the elect. Those who have faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai with truth and sincerity. All right. And that's striving in this truth to seek salvation for that penny. It says the righteous runneth into it and is safe. Okay. Safe. It's uh, making me think of Psalms 91. I get that and I call it a day. Matter of fact, let me go here. This is um, Psalms chapter 91. It says, He that dwelleth in the secret places of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Now, what are the secret places? That's this word. All right. Matter of fact, precepts, scriptures say, uh, uh, The prudent foresee if the evil, the evil and hideth himself. The prudent see if the evil and hide it himself. How do he hide himself? He hide himself under the under the secret places of the Most High, abiding under the shadows of the Almighty. All right, and that's in His Word. Okay, striving uh, for perfection, seeking salvation. All right, and uh, contributing to the Lord's body. All right, and building, meaning to edify, man. All right, so I hope this lesson was uh, edifying. This is a quick hit. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Lord's hopeful elect. Shalom.